Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends. Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got another guest on for today. And do you have your coffee today? I got a Minnesota loon. Quack, quack, quack. And his name is Alan Knight. You there, Alan? I am, Brad. Good morning, sir. You're up on the north side, aren't you, Canada? Vancouver. Yeah, see? North, west. West, um, just above L.A. Because we're in Minneapolis. Yeah, just above L.A. Just a pinch. <laughs> Minnesota's near where I used to live. Well, closer. I used to be from uh, Montreal back east, so I know the cold. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Really, it's already November. We're into the beginning of November, and we haven't got snow yet. It's beautiful, sunny. It's short sleeve weather. It's amazing. So good for you. It's all good. So, Alan, I do these kind of fast, so we don't take up people's uh, valuable okay. commodity of time. Because we only got twenty-four hours in a day, and we'll make these some valuable ones as we uh, find out who you are. So, the first part is, who's Alan? You married? You got kids? Who's Alan? Uh, I'm I'm actually single now. I had a long-term relationship with a tw I consider a twin soul passed away about seven years ago. Uh, I live in Vancouver originally from Montreal. I'm a former Zen monk turned communication coach, and basically I help people master the art of communication both in their business and personal relationships. Very cool. I want to talk to you further about that relationship thing. I'm pondering doing some retreats and things down in Tulum in Costa Rica relationship type thing so you could probably speak to the group wonderful so give us a little more about what it is that you do are you an author speaker coach trainer all the above what, what? All, all the above i've just written a book called a knight without armor nine step formula to relationship success and work and life and over the years i realized that there was a need to come up with a very practical system as opposed to rah rah seminars or just life coaching which are all good uh, so I've created a nine-step formula. The first seven have to do with empowering yourself. The eight and ninth have to do with mastering your communication. And it all started when I got a master's degree in ed education from McGill University back in Montreal. When my thesis was about the quality of relationships with others is founded on the quality of relationship you have with yourself. But I knew we had to go beyond reading books, which is just theoretical, and going to three or four day workshops where you get pumped up and it's good you come back and you're back to the same place. So I've created an inner fitness and verbal fitness system that becomes a self-coaching system for life once you go through it. Very cool. Yeah, I know that you need to create a habit before something takes takes hold because a lot of people go to those seminars and they get all excited and they come back and then they go back into their old way of doing things because everything comes back into balance, doesn't it? So uh, I always like to find out personally, when do you like to work? Are you an AM guy or a PM guy? I, you know, I'm, I'm not fixed on that. I, I get up fairly early in the morning. I, I kind of like to believe I live in that Zen zone. So whether it's five o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock at night, I, I tend to live in the moment and feel oh, pretty wow. good energy. So I guess I'm both an evening and morning guy. If that oh, makes that's sense. pretty cool. You're like uh, energy on demand kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> So when do you work with your clients? Do you work, are you like 24 hours on call or do you have any like office hours or anything? No, it's pretty flexible. Some of my clients prefer weekends, some prefer evening. Uh, of course, I have my own personal time and I uh, balance my life the best I can. But there's no fixed nine to five kind of work ethic in my life. Well, that's uh, very cool, especially these days with the internet. You know, um, someone might be on the other side of the planet over in Bali or Australia, and um, their time zone is different. So, <laughs> exactly, that's cool. So, how do you do your process? Can you kind of summarize how your process goes when you do some coaching or work with clients? Well, I get really bottom line. Let's say uh, somebody comes to me one to one or in front of a group. I say, uh, for you to be successful in your business and personal relationships requires communication every day. So the question is, how effective is our communication? And um, then I ask people how much they've spent on self-development over the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And sometimes I hear twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. I say, okay, let's look at how you're doing right now. 
So we do an X-ray, communication X-ray, um, and they rate themselves zero to hundred percent on many many categories. And I'm always shocked to see that people, after all these years, still procrastinate, still have a hyperactive mind, still afraid of success or uh, rejection, lack confidence, lack assertiveness, are way too hard on themselves, too self-critical, even after all of this work. So basically, I say that what I've done, I, I show them the path of the nine steps and how if they go through the nine steps in a very short period of time, it's a fast track ability to get in the gymnasium, to get out of awareness, into emotional commitment, into action and into communication. And if they do that within 30, 60, 90 days, depending on how much baggage they have and depends on how, how committed they are to the process, they can actually quite quickly empower themselves from the inside out and start to master in their communication. 80% of their communication, Brad, I've realized is from the inside out. Yeah. If you're passion, full of joy and, and confidence and enthusiasm, that just gushes out into your communication. And then we add a few techniques and content to give it a whole picture. So in a nutshell, that's, that's the process that I take people through. Okay, that's very cool. Um, I like the idea. What you're doing is you've already got you got it laid out as a process. Because um, to me, I'm almost sixty, but I realized over the years that uh, change can happen in a moment. It just takes a long time. The convincing of the person to go, aha, and you hit that aha moment. It can happen in a moment, but it takes time to get it through all that. Like you're saying that. Uh, right. The way I habit. the way I would describe it is if it's synonymous to physical fitness, we could figure out on our own. Oh, I better eat this food or better uh, maybe t take a walk today versus getting on an exercise program three, four or five times a week, which is going to enhance your physical fitness level. So it, it's the same for self-development. We could read this book and do a little bit of affirmation here and do that, which is good. It's better than nothing. But in my system, it's a complete and comprehensive system where you put all the pieces together and you're able to fast track your self mastery and your communication mastery. And then you have that system for life. So if you get off track, you pick yourself up by the bootsteps, quickly get back in the zone and stay in the zone on a consistent basis. Okay. Well, before I ask my favorite question and also find out more about uh, how to get a hold of you and, and things of that sort, I have a, a question that I've been asking a lot of people lately because it's a, it's, a, it's a term for a word, and the word is abundance. What does abundance mean to you in a short synopsis? Well, abundance to me means a heck of a lot more than financial abundance. It means abundance of living life fully. And I like to think that after years and years of working on myself and healing and growing, that it's only the last couple of years where I could say, I actually am so grateful every day I wake up and I live relatively content, positive and in the zone most of the time. And to me, that's abundance. Abundance is talking to you to be able to have the opportunity to listen to you and communicate with you, get to know you better and help impact you and be impacted by you. And living life fully to me is in abundance. I know it sounds esoteric, but it's kind of true. Well, good. I've been doing this lately because I'm working with a friend of mine, Paul Sheely, and he's got a program called The Abundance for Life. And uh, I was working with a friend of mine in Asheville on it, and he said abundance to him is like just enough. And I'm thinking, <laughs> well, I thought abundance was like way more than enough, you know, overflowing. But it, it's different for different people because if you think about it, just enough is abundant because you keep on having just enough. It's more of in, in that moment kind of thing, whereas, oh, my God, I got too much. What am I going to do with it all? Well, abundance at the end of the day for me really is inner freedom. We, you know, I know so many people that have so much, uh, so much financial prosperity in their life, yet they're full of dysfunctional codependent relationships and live in anxiety and fear of losing what they have. To me, that's not abundance. Right. To me, abundance is inner freedom. If we have that inner freedom, uh, on a, a more and more consistent basis. To me, that's abundance because we're living our life in the moment abundantly. Got it. Yeah, because you could have a whole bunch of money, but if you're afraid of losing it, it's not very much. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how we can get a hold of you. Then I want to ask my favorite question, then we'll be, be pretty much done. But how do we get a hold of you? You can get in touch with me by going to my website, connectwithpower.com. Uh, AlanKnight.com as well, uh, A L L A N K N I G H T.com, but AlanKnight.com will increasingly become ConnectWithPower.com, or you can call me a 800 number at 1 866 921 3330. 
good old telephone. That works. So yeah. here's my Look. favorite question. I like to ask this one. Like, you could have been like a, you could could be teaching meditation. You could be a ski instructor. You could maybe be a grade school teacher, or maybe you have own a coffee shop. But you chose this for a career and an occupation. Why? The big why question. Why did you choose this for your life? Why is because it taps into my greatest passion in life to make a difference in people's lives. Uh, communication has always been my passion. And although that I've worked for 20 years in the entrepreneurial world, I just launched the Soulmate Revolution, which was my biggest passion. And my goal is by the year 2020 to bring 100,000 soulmates together. And so my greatest passion is to become a, almost like a soulmate minister. Nothing makes me happier than to see people come together in amazing communication and relationships. Okay. So that's why I do what I do. That's very cool. Most of the people that I ask, I've done a lot of these videos, and at the end I ask that big why question. And usually it's to bring people together. It's to help other people. It's pretty cool. So yeah. we'll, we may want to connect later on. I've got my soulmate, Monica. She's a shaman, and uh, I connected with her, and I feel like we're, we're one. And um, I'm looking at doing these retreats in possibly Tulum, Bali, Costa Rica that are like relationship retreats or just right. like a mastermind type thing. So maybe there's some connection there with some synergy. I'd love to work with you, Brad, and I really appreciate you having me on. Okay, get back to work. I'm going to beam this stuff up to the cosmos, and we'll see if we can get someone to find it. <laughs> you too. Take care. Okay, peace, love, and happiness. Be well. Thank you, man.